The Digital Integrated System Manager, the XDCS3000, can be connected with two types of high efficiency power amplifiers. The single channel amplifier is the XDA1500EN and the multi-channel amplifiers XDA2250EN and the XDA4125EN. For single channel mode, connect it with all eight audio output ports. The PA12, PA2, PA34, PA4, PA56, PA6, PA78, and PA8 as shown. For multi-channel mode, it can be connected with the lower four audio output ports, PA12, PA34, PA56, and PA78 as indicated. To get started, use a CAT5 cable line to connect XDCS3000 control interface audio output port PA12 to the XDA4125EN control interface audio input port channel 12. Then use another CAT5 cable line to connect XDCS3000 control interface audio output port PA34 to the XDA4125EN control interface audio input port channel 34. Insert the installed 7P green terminal block into the XDA4125EN's audio output interface. The two red speaker lines should be connected to ports channel 1 and channel 2 as shown. Insert the installed 16P green terminal block into the XDCS3000 amplifier input interface. The other ends of the previous two red speaker lines should be connected to ports channel 1 and channel 2 respectively. Insert the installed 7P green terminal block into the XDA4125EN audio output interface. The two red speaker lines should be connected to port channel 3 and channel 4 as shown. Insert the installed 16P green terminal block into the XDCS3000 amplifier input interface. The other end of the previous two red speaker lines should be connected to port channel 3 and channel 4 respectively. Insert the installed 8P green terminal block into the XDCS3000 speaker output interface. Connect the other end of the red speaker line of port 1 to the speaker directly. When the X618 is linked with the third party FAS system, the dry contact function will be enabled and provide a short circuited dry contact signal to trigger the XDCS3000 playback of software configured audio messages for normal public address and emergency voice alarm broadcasts. The XNRIEN can also be triggered by the dry contact signal when it is connected with the third party FAS system. There are one auxiliary input and two three mink line inputs which can be connected to external audio devices. Because the X618 is a TCP IP PAVA system, the XDCS3000, the XNRIEN, and the XNPMS all have a network port that can be directly connected to the internet. Also, the XDCS3000 and the XNRIEN each have four network switch ports. For the projects of four or more network devices, an internet can be formed independently through the XDCS3000 and the XNRIEN's network ports. No additional switches are required. If there are more than four network devices, you must add a network switch to connect. The following two methods are introduced. For a small system with less than four network devices where no additional switch is required, connect one end of the CAT5 network cable to the 10 100 meter network Ether1 port at the rear panel of the XDCS3000 and the other end to the 10 100 meter network Ether1 port at the rear panel of the XNRIEN. 
connect one end of another CAT5 network cable to the 10 100 meter network Ether2 port at the rear panel of the XDCS3000 and the other end to the PoE port at the rear panel of the XNPMS. For a large system with four or more network devices where additional switches are required, connect one end of the CAT5 network cable to multiple XDCS3000, XNRIEN, and XNPMS network ports, and the other end to the network port of the switch. Lastly, connect the power cable to the AC power port of the device to complete the X618 basic system connection. Thank you for watching this video. For more details, please refer to the user manual.